As a matter of fact, you don't even have to ask. We're going to put this away. I'll talk to y'all later. Joseph is being difficult, y'all. I wanted to come like this, y'all, because my face is done up. I just reviewed the Pat McGrath Labs Foundation. So it's on my channel. It should be on the channel already. If it's not, look for it because, y'all. Hey, friends. Hey, family. If you're new, I'm Melissa Q. If you're an OG, thanks so much for coming back over and over again. And let's get straight into the video. Today is new in. This is my summer haul. So some of these things were sent to me. Other things I have purchased. But we have um, brands online. We have hair care products. We have makeup. So let's get into it. Y'all know I don't purchase as much, at, as much as I used to. But I do definitely want to bring you guys hauls and so i do um i just they're just not going to be as frequent on my channel as before but i live i still like shopping y'all i just don't go crazy like i used to i got budgets okay so uh, here we go so let's start off with fashion okay this i wanted to keep in the bag but this is from a brand called femme lux and i am going to come on with a try on haul and um, I just wanted to show you guys what I got. So I think that coming in the shopping bag is so cute that you get in the mail. But we're going to open it up. I am so excited because I can go into fall with these. And again, like I said, it'll be a try on haul. So you guys will see what I got. But y'all know I don't put a lot of fashion on my channel. I've done like a Nordstrom anniversary sale haul. And uh, if you guys want to see more of that, definitely let me know. But I usually don't. Um, this is like a crop. I have a white one. I have this one and y'all I have a house too. So you guys are going to see but I really oh wow I like this. I did get it in the largest size because I don't particularly like all of my like clothes fitted but I definitely like the look of this. This is something I definitely would purchase with my own money. This one is the black. This is the houndstooth outfit that I was telling you about which I feel like is going to be perfect. I love houndstooth. I love black and white. I love neutrals and so this is the same thing. Y'all like I got things that I actually I plan to keep in my wardrobe so you guys will see this come up and um no. I just wanted to show you guys the pieces, but this is gorgeous, gorgeous. So, um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys those, and it's from from Lux again. I'm gonna come on, come with a try on haul because I do have a few pieces from that brand. New in the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Foundation. I do have a review on this. If it's not up already, it'll be up after this haul. So definitely go and check it out because y'all, all I gotta say is mother mother this is the packaging y'all mm. i i talk i share a, it's like a first impression it's not really a review but i give you all the deets the shades how much it costs the finish the coverage all of that but that is actually what i have on my face mother. let's get into this this is a l'oreal bag i do um have quite a bit in here we're gonna start off with Marshalls okay, and so this I purchased with my own money. I'm going to switch back and forth because I'm just that's just a feeling. I just don't want to do all PR and then just do everything I bought. I'll go back and forth, but I'll tell you what it is. This is the Beautiful Curls Activating Cream, and I also got the Defining Gel. Now, one of the things that I usually do when I purchase products is flip over and look at the ingredients, and this did not have glycerin in it. So when I a lot of people ask me, how do I keep my hair from, I mean, how do I keep my hair looking so moisturized? How do I keep the hold in it and not the frizz? Glycerin is the culprit of all of those according to my hair. So if you have high porosity hair, that might be something that you want to look into or just in general. I know glycerin does not work well with some even low porosity or medium, but I know high porosity because it's one of those products that grab moisture from the environment. It doesn't do well for me. So the defining gel and then I also have the activating cream. So I got both of these and it's from a brand called Beautiful Curls. And um, yeah, it just looks very, very enticing. So I can try these on, cha on the channel 
for you guys let me know I plan on reviewing them anyway I gotta find out where you can get these I thought I saw these at um, Whole Foods but I will find out where you can get these from and um, I'll leave links from any any of the things that I'm showing you in this haul down below in the case you want to grab them before I come on and get the review because showing you guys this is really not for like oh go out and purchase it y'all this is more so of like uh, intro y'all can tell me what y'all want to see reviews on because I want to bring what you guys love okay so the next thing I purchased is a this is a beauty this is from the brand it looks like beauty boost or shine but this is a machine washable tumble dry hydrating satin pillowcase and it was only it says it retails for $13 like but it's 10 bucks and it's a king size I have a standard size but I wanted to see how this one works it's it's supposed to help from friction no bedhead no breakouts and no sleep lines so it's not only for your hair y'all it's for your skin too so we'll see how this works and if you guys want to review even on this I'll let you know but again I picked it up from Marshall's and um, if I can find it I'll leave a link down below Okay, so this is something that was sent to me from Diva Curl. I am an affiliate with Diva Curl just because I love so much of their products and I spend tons of money on their products on my own. They were like, girl, if you like it, like, won't you just like put it down in the description box and if anybody purchases something, you get some change, you get some chick change, you know, and it helps fund my channel for I can, so I can buy more products to review on my channel. That's what I really do with the money, you guys, to be honest. And so this is the Diva Curl Diva Fresh Scalp and Curl Revitalizer. And this is supposed to refresh and extend the wear of your hair. Now, I'm definitely going to try this, but the second ingredient is glycerin in this. So the best time for me to use this is spring and summer when it's not humid, when it's nice outside like it is right now in California. So we will see, and uh, I will try this for you guys. But you get 4.39 ounces and I want to say this was like maybe in the $20 range no more than 30 bucks the it smells really really good and so I'll put some on now we'll see definitely feels refreshing Joe you want me to try you may spray some on you no so let me spray here let me open up the Cheetos for you okay can I have some uh no no can I have one please okay okay, okay. Give me one. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, let, me see. let me see if he's gonna be nice. Uh, mm. High five. Okay. He's mad that he gave me one, y'all. This one is really exciting because these are from Beautylish. Okay, so I picked up three products from Beautylish. The first one is the Embryo Lease. I've I've went I've gone through one of these before, and this is the Embryo Lease Eclat de Real. Basically, y'all, this is a French brand, and um, you actually take this and you put it under your eyes, and it sucks up all of the puffiness. If you have puffy eyes. Y'all, I did not believe this until I was at IMAX one year and I already love their cream concentrate. I keep that in my kit and one string is just bothering me. I use this and y'all, this is the truth. But you, you need to definitely use this. I'm so glad that I'm doing this uh, so I can put this away and use it. But it's one of those like hydrogels. It reminds you of the Pearly's hydrogel, but this one is more potent. So... And I don't think this costs as much as the hydrogel. I think the hydrogel might be $26, $28, something like that. This was like $20, bucks, I think. $22? It was really good. But that's from NBO Lease. Y'all, I could not resist this OG. I got an oldie and a newie. New, like, I got an oldie and a goodie. And um, the oldie is the Sultry palette. I'm going to leave a link down below because I know some of you guys missed out like I did. And I could not believe this was on Beautylish. So um, my girl CJ was talking about how good this was. And y'all, I am still doing my one in, one out rule. So I, I, I do have a couple of palettes. I am going to show that on my second channel, what I got rid of. So this is the palette. And I am so excited. I'm holding the mirror down so I don't blind you guys. But that's how it looks. And um, I'm really excited about this because I 
really like cool tone. I love the Naked 2 palette, but this is like the Naked 2 with a pop of color in here to me. And the metallics in here, y'all, I've already used this once. Metallics in here are no joke. So I really am glad that I got this. And I love Anastasia. Pan that palette. I am panning the World Traveler palette. That one's like before the new formulation. So I'm really excited about getting the Sultry palette. The next palette I got, I had, I don't want to say I had to get it, but it was in my price range. It was on my wish list to get like a Natasha the Denona palette. So $65 versus like $130, $140 is up my alley. So I so I got the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette and this is how it looks. It's perfect for travel. Um, I'm probably going to be taking this with me and maybe a neutral palette or something. Um, actually has some neutral tones in here. So I might not have to do that. But anyway, that is beautiful. That is so beautiful. And um, yeah, I'm probably going to have to take this on vacay to me, with me. So I love this. I can't wait to use it. I can take these out of the boxes and finally use them. So I'm excited. And it is like it holds. Uh, this has a really good mirror in it, too. I'm so excited. Okay, let's move on to what I got. Um, I got this for the hubby. This is a Giorgio Armani set. Aqua Di Gio is my favorite for him. This is his favorite set. So I got the large and the small one. And um, enough said about that. Yes. 3.4 and the one point uh, and the one ounce. So that's what I pretty much thought. But um, about that. For vacay, I got the CeraVe Baby Wash and Shampoo for JoJo and the baby moisturizing cream. I needed travel sizes. Um, we we're gonna be gone for a couple of days, but I did not want to take everything big. I wanted to take some things that I could pack away. So that is going on the packing list. I got the Garnier Micellar eye makeup pads. I wanted something that was contained and it was a fraction of the cost. How much did I pay for this? $4.50 for this, so that was good. And for the CeraVe, um, 550 and for the baby wash 550. So before Marlena Stell started talking about the Vichy Mineral 89, this is a hyaluronic mineral rich water. I'm using this as her serum. Everybody was pulling this off the shelves, and the um, store manager was like, "Girl, this is a bomb! Can't wait to try. It's a hydrate. It pulps the re it pulps the skin, pumps." Oh, what, what was I saying? It plumps the skin. And so if you hear like a bag crunching, that's Joseph on the floor. Can't wait to, um, I've tried this before and um, I've walked around. They had a sample. I love it. So can't wait to talk about that. It has hyaluronic acid. I did get the Urban Decay. I've been waiting to get this. This has been on my wish list. The Brow Blade, the Waterproof Ink Stain, and this one is in Dark Drapes. So um, this is the one that's the pencil on one side and the pen on the other. So after I finish my Benefit um, Precisely My Brow, I'm going to go into this and maybe we can do a comparison because I've been promising y'all that brow pencil type of video and this is included some of the other ones that I have and finished is included so let's see which one is the better buy maybe I'll do a bougie versus bargain on those let me know as a free gift I got the where I was the L'Oreal infallible this one is the nude beige so I think I have one of those I think might be old so I'll throw that away I got some samples and this is a this looks like a hair mask yeah, long-lasting hair care system. This is the Pro Fiber Restored. This might be good since he gave me some good um, samples. Yeah, this is both half an ounce. So an ounce of deep conditioner usually does really well, especially since I concentrated on the ends. And um, I got a free SC polish. Y'all, this, though, is what I really, I, I was astonished when they I saw this on the shelves. They were like, y'all, we have a few more of these. I picked up the Lumi Cushions. I loved this so much back in the day, but they actually um, pulled these and um, they said, hey, these are the last ones that we have. And um, so I was at kind of like a, 
how can I say it? It's almost like a, not a discount store, but that's basically what it is for L'Oreal L'Oreal products. And so this is the Lumi Cushion. I have W5.5, that's my shade. I picked up two of these. I'm sorry, I love it. And I'm probably gonna take one of these on my trip because I love it so, so much. It gives a full to, it gives a sheer to full coverage. So I probably will take one of these just because of how compact it is. I love it so much. But y'all, that is my haul. That is like my new in for summer. And um, yeah, I'm good. I'm good for a while. Hair care products, y'all know I come and review, but I definitely don't want to overdo it. I want to budget. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll link everything down below. And in my videos, y'all, I know y'all have been talking about what's that lip gloss? What's, what's on your face? If you want me to put what's on my face down below, definitely let me know. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to ask. I'm gonna put it down there. I got I gotta do better with putting it down there. Joseph is laughing at me. Stop laughing, little boy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.